my mission. Finish it. Because I'm with you to the end of the line. Well, we're here. The end. As of January 20th, 2023, Marvel's Avengers has officially announced that it will no longer be creating new content for the game after the 2.8 update on March 31st and will officially cut off support for the game on September 30th. Now, I know I'm a little bit late on covering this, but I wanted to share my thoughts and reflect on my experience with Marvel's Avengers since this game holds a very special plate in my heart and on this channel. I have been invested in this game since all the way back in 2017 when the first teaser trailer was released. That if you're different, you're dangerous. But I know the truth. Then, like most people, I freaked out a bit when the first real trailer was released at E3 in 2019. Man, those character models really <laughs> scared me, uh, but I remained optimistic. Thankfully, thankfully they improved on those character models. Thankfully. <laughs> so I pre-ordered the game, got early access to the beta, I had, all, had a test trial with all my friends, and I was instantly hooked. I loved it, but my friends, on the other hand, did not. I loved the voice acting, the story. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check it was the a science? heist, Bruce. No. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, <sighs> and you knew that. You knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. We failed him. We failed him. And the combat was just so much fun to me. Now, don't get me wrong, I wasn't completely oblivious to the game's problems, you know. I knew the game was a buggy mess and that it lacked content after launch for so long. It had its problems, but I loved it anyway. Marvel's Avengers was my gateway into YouTube gaming, and this channel wouldn't be alive without it. Now don't get me wrong, just because the game's support is getting cut off doesn't mean I'm not going to be posting stuff about the game and I'm not going to be streaming. I will be continuing to do it until I absolutely run out of things to post. That's how it's going to work, y'all. <laughs> and I'm still a huge advocate for the idea that with the proper game engine, team, and resources, the Marvel's Avengers 2 could be spectacular. Because the story, voice acting, and combat were all done so well that it would be a shame to throw it away just because the game lacked proper multiplayer content. But a man can only dream. <laughs> so I wanted to give a huge thank you to the Marvel's Avengers crew and community for a wild and fun two years. Let me know down in the comments below what your experience with Marvel's Avengers was, whether good or bad. Let's just be civil. Don't be asses in the comments. <laughs> we don't like that. And let me know what Marvel game you're going to be playing next because I know there are a lot of Marvel games coming up in the near future and I want to play all of them. I don't think I will, but I, I want to. And let me know what you are most excited for. The, the Iron Man game looks spectacular. There's a Captain America Black Panther game set in World War II. I think it's all going to be awesome, but only time will tell. Thank you, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.